When you think about manufacturing, the image that might come to mind might be something like this. An industrial robot working with a machine tool to build some product. You might be surprised to learn then that less than 10% of manufacturing actually looks like this. And that's a big problem. Why? Let's dig into it together. I'm Kel Guerin, and this is another Ready Session. One of the biggest challenges facing manufacturing right now is something called the skills gap. Essentially, factories can't find enough people with manufacturing skills to keep up with demand. So when demand surges, for instance, for ventilator components, they're limited by the number of shifts they can run and can't make enough ventilators. That's a huge problem and it affects everyone. Fortunately, automation is here to help. And a lot of those unfilled positions are tasks that can be automated. Seems like the perfect solution, right? Well, it turns out that manufacturing has the same skills gap for people who know how to program and install automation. Not many people know how to program industrial robots, like this little guy. So we're back to square one. What is fundamentally driving this issue is usability. Up to now, it's taken a lot of expertise to install automation, hence the rarity of people able to do it. In fact, there's really only one person for every 10 factories in the US who's an automation expert. So how do you solve this? Well, you make automation easier. And one way to make automation easier is something called no-code programming, which I've talked about in a previous Ready session. See, one of the main things you have to do when automating a task, like loading these parts into that machine with this robot, is programming. You have to specify step-by-step step what the robot needs to do to perform the task. And it's the same for other devices, like programmable logic controllers, vision systems, all the things that you need to automate a task like machine tending behind me. No code is a way to make programming much simpler because instead of learning the programming language for that device, the camera, the robot, whichever, you can use an interface that doesn't require code. It just requires that you know what you want the system to do. Go here, grab this, move here, and then you're off to the races. A no-code interface like this is much, much easier to learn than an entirely new programming language, meaning that anyone can now program automation. We don't need more experts in automation. We need automation to be so easy that anyone can be an expert. There are incredible, talented people in manufacturing that just need the right tools to apply automation. They just need it to be easy. That way, automation and robotics becomes another means for them to do what they're best at, and that is solving problems. 